Today I'm going to be unboxing the very first VGA cooler from Gellid Solutions. Gellid has a huge lineup of fans, they've got some CPU coolers under their belt, they have excellent thermal compound, but this is their first foray into a VGA cooling solution. So, it has dual UV blue fans, five power heat, five power heat pipes. I'm not sure what they mean by power heat pipes, but I can tell you right now, that the heat pipes will not consume extra power in your system. That's right, if you have a GTX 480, the heat pipes will not make your power consumption higher, so you don't have to worry about that. Support is pretty much there for almost all current video, in fact, all current video cards, they even have support for the 5850, 5870, the GTX 470, as well as the GTX 480. So the compatibility list goes all the way back to the 4800 series, as well as the 9800 series for NVIDIA. So that's pretty darn good. Now in terms of performance, Gellid claims, and here, let's see if I can zoom in on this so that you can actually read it. Gellid claims on the GTX 480, so here's their, oh, here's their test bench. They are using, uh, here we are. Oh wow, that's interesting. They're using someone else's CPU cooler when they actually have their own CPU cooler. Very strange, but they're using a GTX 480 from ASUS, and they're claiming that under load, when you're overclocked, so that's the, uh, the green bar here, it's almost 20 degrees cooler than the stock fan while running at, I'm going, yeah, while running at a much slower RPM. So you're gonna get much better acoustic performance out of the IC Vision. So here is the Banchetto 101, interesting. So here is the stock, yeah, okay, so they've just reiterated that again over here, interesting. Here is their overclock, well, a mild 800 megahertz overclock, but still, 72 degrees at 2000 RPM is a lot better than 91 degrees at 3300 RPM. So here we can see the back of the cooler, here we can see the front of the cooler, so there's your dual, uh, what appear to be 92 millimeter fans, and they are UV blue. Let's get this thing opened up, I've had enough of talking about the packaging. Premium aluminum fins, pure copper base, uh, dual S-shaped fans for 20% more airflow. Hmm. Okay, ball bearing for a long lifetime, and they are Crossfire and SLI compatible. But something you will have to watch out for is that this cooler does appear to be a triple slot cooler. So unless your system has the... Oh, actually, hold on. Let's see if I think it is a triple slot cooler. Okay, here, in just a moment here. So here is a, here is a video card, and here is the cooler. So, yeah, this has got to be a triple slot cooler. So unless you've got the appropriate spacing, so you can see here, I've got a motherboard that has one PCIe slot, two additional slots, another PCIe slot, and two additional slots. So if you had two of these coolers, you would be effectively using all of the slots in this motherboard. So just be aware of that. All right, so let's have a look at the accessory package first. We have... Ooh, color instructions. Very, very nice. Thank you, Gellid Solutions. I always appreciate a color instruction booklet. These are great diagrams, too. I can tell right off the bat. They've gone and shown you all of the necessary little steps, where to install all the little RAM syncs, everything that you need. They've got... This is for the NVIDIA series here. And then I'm guessing on the other side is going to be ATI series. Yep, here's your ATI series instructions. All right. Very nice. So it's about a nine-step program to uh, install your graphics card cooler. Here they've got an adapter. So the IC, whoops, oh, I forgot what it's called. Yeah, the IC Vision there, that's not that complicated. The IC Vision comes with one of these little proprietary video card fan connectors, but you can go ahead and adapt it to either a three pin fan connector or a Molex connector. So even though it has two fans, you only have to plug it in with one header. So that's pretty handy. Okay, that includes some GC2 thermal compound, which is this color. Okay. Then it also includes a bunch of RAM sinks. So those are here. All right, so these are low profile RAM sinks. So I'm guessing these are the ones that are going to go under the cooler itself. And the thermal pads are not pre applied, which honestly I don't really mind because it's not really much easier. To, to peel off the backing and then stick it on than it is to just peel off two sides of backing and put it on the, the RAM sink. So here are the actual, you can tell right away, these are 3M branded thermal pads. And then they've also got another thermal interface for, uh, where did that guy go? I saw it before. All right, here we have a multi, okay, let's just finish with this. So we've got some washers here. 
These are for uh, making sure that nothing shorts out. We've got some more thermal interface material. We have some bigger sinks, some smaller sinks. So basically Gallup making sure they got all their bases covered no matter what little chips you need to throw sinks on. Then we have all of the mounting screws and hardware for actually attaching the IC Vision to your video card. Then we have a little Gelid case badge. Thank you for that. Then over here, we have more stuff. And if I can, oh yeah, there it is. I knew I saw this somewhere. So this is what that long thermal strip was for. Um, this guy right here. So let me just adjust that. I'm wearing kind of a slippery shirt today so my camera isn't staying in place as well as I'd like. So that's gonna be for VRMs on one card or another. Then we have the actual hold down, or back plate rather. If I could get this out, then that would be splendid. There we go. And finally, one last little heat sink. Okay, so there's another heat sink. And here is the back plate, universal back plate by the look of things. So you've got lots and lots of different mounting holes in there. All right, let's have a look at the IC Vision itself. So here's our two fans. These spin at 2000 RPM, although there's no reason you couldn't turn them down if you're content with having higher GPU temperatures and you're more interested in just keeping the uh, noise levels down. So you can see we are using aluminum fins here. So let's see how many heat pipes we have going to each one of these uh, thin arrays. So we've got basically what amounts to kind of two slim fans mounted on two kind of uh, I guess they're about each about the size of an 80 millimeter water cooling radiator or so. So you've got three heat pipes going to this one and then you've got one, two heat pipes going to this one right here. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. So there's actually five heat pipes running through the base and we'll do the obligatory finger shot here where we show how shiny it is. It's not particularly shiny, although it does look to be machined quite flat. The base is a um, bit of a, more of a matte finish, whereas the heat pipes have actually got like a shiny polished finish to them. It looks quite nice. And then let me see if there's anything else to really show you about it. Why don't I just sort of do some camera work here and just show you the IC Vision in all its glory. Here, you can kind of, I haven't installed it yet, obviously, but you can sort of visualize what it'll look like on a GTX 480 if I do this. So there, there's a 480 in its stock state, and there's one with an IC Vision. And if you happen to already have Gelid Wing UV Blue fans, then this will go really well with it, which I happen to have, so I'm, uh, I feel quite privileged to ha get my hands on the IC Vision. And uh, yeah, I guess there's not too much more to say about it. What it's really going to come down to is how well it performs, and hopefully I'll have a chance to test it in the near future and show you guys my results. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Gellet Solutions IC Vision VGA Cooler.